Creating Subcircuits from SPICE Netlists, Part 1 Simple 5-Terminal Operational Amplifiers In TINA, you can create your own components from any SPICE subcircuit that you have made or downloaded from the Internet. Let's create a 741 operational amplifier model using a SPICE subcircuit. Click the Tools menu of TINA. and select the new macro wizard. Change the settings from current circuit to from file. Click the icon. Now you should navigate to the folder where the SPICE model is located. Select the Sir Lib Mod Filter. These are the most commonly used extensions for SPICE subcircuits. Click the little arrow next to the Open button and select TINA Examples. Select the UA741.CIR file and press the Open button. The new Macro Wizard dialog will appear with the path and name of the selected file. You can, of course, select any other locations and files. Let's name the new Macro UA741M. Click Next. The list of available schematic symbols will appear. If you want a different symbol than the one automatically suggested, you can view and select a symbol by clicking the long vertical button on the right. For example, symbol 704. Let's not change the automatically selected symbol and click Next. This dialog shows how the pin names on the graphics symbol are associated with the SPICE node name in the macro. You can also see the text and check if the connections are properly made. If not, you can drag the macro node names to any terminals. However, our original connections were good, so let's return to the correct originally suggested macro. And click Next. Let's modify the name. In the Save dialog window, you can select where to save your file. If you click the little arrow next to the Save button, you will find two options, User Macros, and the TINA macros. Note that into the TINA macros folder you can save with administrator rights only. Click Save. By selecting the Insert button, the selected macro will be attached to your cursor and you can place it wherever you wish on the workspace. Double click the macro and press Enter Macro to see its content. By clicking the Compile icon, you can check the syntax of the macro. The macro text is formally correct and ready to work in TINA. Note that the macro opens under another tab of the schematic editor. Let's go to the main TINA screen. And now back to the macro. Click the Close icon on the toolbar if you wish to close the macro and go back to the schematic editor of TINA. You can also insert the new subcircuit into the schematic by using the Insert slash Macro command. Select the recently saved UA741 TSM file, then press Open. The selected macro will be attached to your cursor and you can place it wherever you wish on the workspace.
For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash Tina slash video tutorials. Download the demo version of Tina Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of Tina. Free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to Tina Cloud the cloud-based multi-language installation-free online version of Tina running in your browser anywhere in the world.